Hi guys, welcome to the lesson. In this video we're going to be looking at rule of thirds. So this is continuing from the scale and composition lesson uh, that we just looked at previously. So in a nutshell, rule of thirds is the premise of dividing an image into nine equal parts. Now this is a, a rough guideline that's used in the visual arts, mainly uh, photography and film production, but it applies brilliantly to illustration, composite artwork, photo manipulation as well. The logic behind using rule of thirds is to create more visually pleasing dynamic images as opposed to positioning things completely dead center. This adds um, a, a sense of tension, energy and interest. So you create a basic grid structure and then you uh, make a point of aligning your elements. So this is a very basic example. This is a great piece that I found on DeviantArt that illustrates the use of rule of thirds. You can see the horizon line positioned along the bottom horizontal line of the grid itself. If I go through and have a look at this example from Wikipedia Commons, we have the focal element, which is the hawk, sitting on the fence. And that's aligned perfectly to the right guideline. And then the bottom horizontal line runs parallel to the horizon. So the photographer could have made the choice of just framing that hawk dead center, but it wouldn't have the same amount of visual engagement. How does this work? I have no idea. I don't fully know the science behind it, but I do know that it works brilliant um, when deciding how to compose your elements. So I have a piece here. Uh, this was one that I worked on previously uh, for a competition entry. And I'd just like to show you a couple of ways of creating a simple rule of thirds grid in Photoshop. Now the old way I used to use the crop tool. You have to bear with me. I absolutely hate the crop tool in Photoshop CS6. They've just over engineered it and it's just too crazy. So once you have the crop tool activated, you can click and by default, it has the rule of thirds grid there. I think you have extra options here where you can choose which ones. If you want to go real in depth, you can get the golden ratio, the golden spiral. But once that's in place, you can simply pull the guidelines from the ruler at the side. If the ruler doesn't show, you can go view, click on rulers to get them and drag the guidelines like so and then once you're happy with that click the cancel on the crop tool and then the guidelines will still be there so that's the kind of laborious way to do it that's the way I used to do it and I'm just gonna go clear guides there's um, a slightly more intuitive way you go Photoshop preferences Grids, Guide and Slices. And then on these options, you want on this drop down of the dialog, go Percent. Type in 100 on this uh, entry here and Subdivisions Free and then click OK. And then go Show Grid. And you're given a, a very pleasing kind of dotted grid. You can change the parameters, you can have this grid color any color you like or bolder lines but that one works perfectly fine I like it because it's not obtrusive and then at any point you can hide and show that by using the shortcut command and H so that's a basic overview of rule of thirds if you're not already using rule of thirds then I would highly advise giving it a go at the very least as I explained in a previous video the number one stumbling block for all newbies wasn't understanding the software, it was composing elements, framing elements, understanding scale and balance for more impactful work. So use the rule of thirds as a tool, give it a whirl, and I'll look forward to seeing you at the next lesson. See you there.